Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's Extol Educast. This is Mark Denshi, director of Extol's Worldwide Partner Program. Extol is a leading end to end integration company, and we seek out partners that offer complementary solutions to the market. A recent survey conducted by Supply Chain Brain cited data visibility as the number one interest to business and IT leaders. Today, I am proud to introduce Velocity, an Extol partner, to discuss achieving synchronized supply chain visibility. From Velocity, we're joined by Yulia Popok, Director of Product Development. Yulia has worked in supply chain for 14 years, most recently setting strategic direction and driving innovation at Velocity for the past 12 years while building a high-performance development organization. Thank you, Mark, very much. And uh, thank you to Excel as well for this opportunity. Um, I'm first going to uh, take just a couple of minutes to introduce our company to you, Velocity Technologies. Uh, we're part of a bigger company, which is Constellation Software, which um, is a big company that has a lot of different software uh, vendors in the integrated manufacturing space, supply chain space, logistics, and distribution as well. And you see um, under the logistics space, we have Velocity, Varsity, and Logimax companies that provide uh, supply chain uh, visibility solution, transportation solution, as well as warehouse solutions. And this is part of the Freeman Operating Group that um, is under the Constellation Software umbrella, and this is our sister companies um, as well. Velocity Technologies was founded in 1999, and that's when we started our supply chain um, event-based and visibility solution. We were acquired by Constellation back in 2011. Uh, we're headquartered in Dallas, Texas, and we have a uh, global presence, global customer presence, as well as global company presence. And we're experts in supply chain management solutions. We have uh, supply chain management solutions that um, cover the planning of the supply chain, execution, as well as the optimization. And today we will uh, concentrate on one of those solutions, but we really do cover a lot of um, solutions in the supply chain space. And this is a sample customer list. And as you will see, um, we cover different industries from Ministry of Defense in UK um, to the known to um, auto manufacturers like Volkswagen and Ford. We have uh, third-party logistics companies like DSC and manufacturing uh, plants like Great Plains as well. Today's EDUCAST will cover how companies can achieve a synchronized supply chain uh, through data integration. First, I will introduce you to the concept of a supply chain control tower, the need for a supply chain control tower, and the value that it provides. Then I will do a short live demo and show you the simple integration between Excel EBI and Velocity Control Tower, and show you how you can transform the integrated data into actionable data. After that, we're going to, going to go back and review in more detail the key characteristics and capabilities of a control tower. And finally, I will show you specific examples on how you can use the supply chain control tower approach and implement the synchronized supply chain. Let's first look at the need for a supply chain control tower. In the current competitive landscape, supply chains have become increasingly more global and more complex. Companies have multiple tiers of supply chain partners like suppliers, uh, suppliers, suppliers, third-party logistics, carriers, and end customers. Companies operate with many disparate systems and processes which produces information silos. Most of the supply chain activities in the direction with trade partners like suppliers, distributors, and others occur outside of your four walls, outside of the enterprise. There is a need for this single hub or central system to eliminate the information silos and provide companies with end-to-end -end visibility to their supply chain. Most of you use Excel's integration broker to, to synchronize data flow between systems that run on different protocols and require different file formats. And the next step is to use and elevate this integrated data from disparate systems and have one holistic view of your extended supply chain. A supply chain control tower is designed to provide you with visibility, collaboration, and control across 
many disparate internal processes and systems like ERP, WMS, and TMS over an extended supply chain with many multiple tiers of your supply chain partners. The term and concept of a supply chain control tower comes from an airport control tower, a central hub which has a clear view of all air traffic. Similar to how airport uh, traffic control tower directs aircraft to and from airports and while in flight, a supply chain control tower synchronizes demand and supply and manages the flow of goods. Supply chain control tower through integration extends the value of your system of record to your supply chain. It provides with a real-time contextual view of your orders, shipments, inventory positions, and forecasts and performs impact analysis on anomalies that have occurred or are at risk to occur. And now I'm going to do a short live demonstration on how you can, using Expo EBI solutions, integrate your system uh, like an RP and achieve visibility and collaboration with the Velocity Supply Chain Control Tower solution, which we call Control Tower Platform. Control Tower Platform is a single web-based platform that can be accessed by your primary, secondary, and even tertiary supply chain partners. I'm logged in as a buyer user, as you can see on the right corner, top right corner, um, for a purchasing organization that's called Tracement. Right away, you will see the user's dashboard that is configurable per user or per role. Dashboards provide access to key information as well as managed by exceptions so that the information or data that requires actions from the user or is meaningful to them is right in front of them. In this example, the buyer or procurement manager, Don, is monitoring the order and order lines that have been shipped and are currently in transit. He's also aware that there are order lines that have not been confirmed by supplier on time and he needs to follow up with those suppliers to ensure that they acknowledge the receipt, as well as their ability to deliver the requested um, quantity on the specified due date. And finally, in this particular portlet, the buyer can also see that the supplier did not ship an order line on time as scheduled, and that will most likely have an impact to receiving this order line on time. As I mentioned, these dashboards can be, can be configured depending on who the user is, his role, and the organization. And now I'm going to go to the third tab, New Order Dashboard. This will show me all the new orders that are created by an RP system, for example, or maybe by a forecast MRP system. So I do, at this time, I don't have any orders, new orders that just come in in the system. I'm also going to open a new uh, browser tab and log in as a supplier user. This user, as you can see from the uh, top right uh, corner, is a supplier user for Dallas Pneumatic Organization. This user's dashboard shows the order lines that have been modified by the buyer, where the buyer is now requesting a different quantity or a different due date. The supplier user will also see uh, the information required portal that will show all the new order lines that come in that he needs to acknowledge or suggest different quantities and due dates as needed. And now I'm going to show you um, a simple X12 EGI A50 message, a purchase order that most of you are probably familiar with. And I'm going to make a change to the purchase order number, so right now it's 109, I'm going to make it 110. And I'm going to save this um, into a folder that an Excel integration tool is monitoring. And in the left corner here, I'm going to save that in the um, directory. And you will see 
um, the message here, and now it's going to have been picked up by Excel and it disappears from that particular folder. So now if I go back to the browser, to the, the portal, and again, I'm logged in right now as the buyer for the purchasing organization. You will see this order, the EDI order 110, that has been, has been passed uh, to the system. And if I go back to the portal of my supplier and re refresh the page, The supplier now received this order as well and needs to confirm the following order line. If the supplier doesn't confirm the order within the needed time frame, an exception or alert will be generated. So now that this purchase order is in the system, a simple purchase order that I showed you, the supplier can negotiate on the order terms. It can update the status of the order, it can ship the order and do other actions throughout its life cycle. Some of these updates can be received from external systems through EDI, or some of these actions can be performed using control tower by the users through the web as well. The key is that control tower can provide all your partners within your supply chain real-time visibility into, in this case, orders. You can collaborate with your partners using control tower and also be able to resolve issues if exceptions occur or are predicted to occur. This was a small example of how XSOL and Control Tower come together and provide a central hub for your supply chain data and processes. Now, let's go back and review um, additional capabilities of Control Tower. The foundation of a control tower is this real-time end-to-end visibility of the supply chain data like customer demand, inventory positions, orders, and shipments which create a true holistic view of your supply chain. Providing the real-time end-to-end visibility is key and is the main characteristic of a supply chain control tower, but a lot more value can be achieved with the supply chain data that is now in one system. Control Tower provides managed by exception where users receive meaningful alert notifications on events that have occurred, on events that have not occurred as scheduled, or on events that are projected to occur. The users are notified at the right time so that they don't go find the problem, but the, prob the problem finds them. Another capability is the partner collaboration the necessary interaction between your trade partners on information such as order statuses and exceptions for problem resolution. Standardizing and automating the supply chain processes is another capability a control tower provides to eliminate manual processes, process gaps, as well as reliance on management by, by spreadsheets. The access to the history of supply chain events provides performance management capability to measure and improve your supply chain performance as well as your partner's performance. And lastly, impact analysis. One of the unique value of Control Tower Platform is the tight link between purchase orders, sales orders, forecasts, shipments, current inventory positions, replenishment orders, and other supply chain data. This tight link provides the ability to do proactive impact analysis and problem resolution plans. For example, if this shipment is delayed, what purchase orders will not be delivered on time? And which component inventory or even manufacturing or sales orders can be affected by this delay as well? This information gives you an opportunity to take action and resolve the issue prior to it becoming an actual problem. The control tower approach will help you achieve synchronization between supply and demand through data integration and provides single version of truth, single version of process across harmonized data. And now let's review specific examples on these six key control tower capabilities. 
As we saw in the demonstration, the heart of the control tower is the central view and access to critical information in the form of dashboards. Users can get quick access to inventory positions in key facilities, critical um, shipments, orders with alerts, as well as meaningful uh, key performance indicators. The dashboards are configurable based on what is important to the particular user or role or his or her organization. Order module within Control Tower provides companies with the ability to monitor and manage all aspects of the order life cycle within the extended supply chain. You can manage any order type that's part of your business process. You can issue and manage order types like purchase orders, blanket purchase orders, sales orders, replenishment orders, back orders, and others. This is a sample view of a list of open orders based on the specified search criteria. In this case, the buyer or a planner can view orders and order lines that they have access to. They can check the status of the order and the order lines and track the full life cycle of the order. Calls, uh, faxes, and emails to the suppliers to find out what is happening with the order is no longer necessary. Users can see the last event that occurred for each order or order, order line and then can drill down to see additional details of this particular order. Orders can be linked to the related in transit shipments, global inventory positions for the particular item, as well as the original forecast of that item. All of the screens in Control Tower platform are configurable and more or less information can be displayed as needed for a particular user, role, or organization. Supply chain partners like suppliers, shippers, and distributors can also see the order and order lines that they have access to and see the same latest status on the order. This real-time order visibility provides all users of the system with a single version of truth and eliminates manual processes as well as minimizes the risk of late or inaccurate product delivery. Control Tower's inventory management provides collaboration and visibility to inventory positions managed by you or your partner. It offers a view or a snapshot of the global inventory levels and activities across location in a complex distributed supply chain. You can be inventory at your own company's locations, third-party warehouses, distributors, suppliers with vendor managed inventory, customers, and other locations. Here's a sample view of inventory data at different locations that display how much inventory is available on hand on inbound and outbound ordered and in transit inventory. Visibility into your inventory management across different locations and partners can help you reduce inventory buffers or safety stuff. You can also automate your product re replenishment based on forecast and projections or based on actual inventory consumption. So similar to how I just showed you the order and um, with this uh, slide inventory visibility, Control Tower also provides visibility to shipments and forecasts. And as I mentioned earlier, all four modules, order, inventory, shipment, and forecast can be tightly linked in the system. Exception management uh, provides user-defined role-based alert notifications. Users are notified by email, dashboard, or text on issues that occur at transactional level. This is a sample view of a list of alerts for a user with the ability to log action, comment, and perform other actions to collaborate, collaborate with other users in the system to resolve the alert. Exception management will enable buyers, planners, suppliers, and other users to react to exceptions that occurred on the actual event on events that haven't occurred yet but will cause disruption, and on projected events. So for example, for an actual event, the promised quantity for this order line has been modified by a supplier. So the procurement manager will receive this notification and it can act promptly by accepting or rejecting the change. 
notifications can also be generated on events that have not occurred yet, but were scheduled to occur. For example, supplier has not confirmed this order line on this purchase order by the required date within the specified grace period. Another type of alert is on projected events. Based on inventory on hand, in transit inventory, and outbound inventory, this product is projected to be out of stock in two weeks. The key to manage by exception is the proactive alert notification without overwhelming the users with exceptions. Don't go searching for the problem. Let the problem find you. This gives the users an opportunity to rectify the issue before it becomes a costly disruption. Another capability of a control tower is the collaboration between supply chain partners. This is uh, an example of collaboration between buyer and supplier on order terms like quantity, price, and due date. This shows a detailed view of an order with five order lines. The supplier has confirmed the last two order lines and suggested new promise date on the first two, two order lines. The discrepancies between what was ordered and what the supplier can deliver are marked in red and will prompt the buyer to react in either accept those changes or continue the negotiation process with supplier. Or maybe even cancel the order or, or the line and go to a different supplier. Buyer and supplier can also add notes, upload documents, and provide other information to collaborate with each other. This collaboration provides the latest status of the order the history of the changes and elim eliminates a lot of manual processes and gaps of information flow. As uh, changes are made to the original order by either the buyer or supplier, those changes are recorded. The actual events like pick, clear customers, or receive that are occurred to the order throughout the life cycle are recorded here as well. System of records um, usually show the last state of the order or order line. The control tower's log of events captures all events and actions that occurred throughout the whole order life cycle. This information is very useful and it can be used for order tracking, for auditing, as well as to measure supplier performance. The final negotiated changes can be updated in the original ERP or other system of record so that all information remains in sync and is traceable. Control Tower provides the ability to define order, order line shipment and delivery level processes to standardize them across your supply chain. A process is a sequence of scheduled steps each step is assigned a time constraint to start and complete. The defined processes and time constraints are used to derive the schedule for activities for a particular live order or shipment. This is a sample domestic order line process where after the order is processed, the supplier needs to confirm or acknowledge the PO line, the purchase order line. Then it needs to ship it, and then the purchasing organization will receive and reconcile what was shipped. In this particular example, the acknowledgement of the order line is forward scheduled from the PO creation date. And then the other two activities, order line shipped um, and order line received, are backward scheduled from the due date. All of these processes are user definable in the browser based in interface. The order that this process should be applied to, which live order should be applied to, is defined in the selector logic. So for example, users can define that for this order type or for this particular supplier, this process should be applied. The decision tree type of setup. And then for another type of supplier or for a different product family, a material surcharge process should apply. When order is created in the system, the itinerary schedule is created based on this defined process. The process model is used to automate the processes and activities that the order or shipment should go through, create a schedule for those activities, and to alert an exception when projected 
and or actual do not correspond to the schedule that was created. This is an example of the generated itinerary that was created automatically from the process model on the previous slide. The itinerary view lists out the activity at the order and order line level. The expected and scheduled times were calculated automatically by control tower system based on the provided durations and lead times in the process model and the scheduled time constraints. This schedule can be derived from the process model or can be sent from external system as well if needed. When the actual events are received for this particular order, if the actual date is later than what was scheduled, the projected date of the subsequent activities will be pushed out. If the actual date is earlier than what was scheduled, the projected date for the subsequent activities will be pulled in. The control tower uses the schedule to alert on activities that are coming up, that are late, or that will impact the downstream activity. Now we will look at the impact analysis feature of control tower. This is an example of an alert notification that was generated for a delivery activity on a shipment that did not start as scheduled. So the train did not arrive at checkpoint at scheduled date and time. The impacted entities in this case display all the orders that are on the shipment and will be delayed because the shipment is delayed. The alert view also lists out all the participants or users that are receiving this alert and you, who you can collaborate on, on the resolution of this exception. The users can escalate, change reason code, log comments, correspond with alert participants, and do other collaborative actions to resolve the exception. Another example of impact analysis is inventory projections. The inventory projection graph shows real-time future inventory levels based on the actual demand, replenishment, manufacturing, in-transit orders, and what is currently available in stock. As disruptions to the order and shipment processes occur, those changes are propagated to the inventory levels at each location so that the buyer can be warned of the impact of those changes to the inventory levels. Each line shows the orders and shipments that are being considered to calculate the available inventory per week. The in available inventory is shown by this blue line. If nothing else happens, they're projected to be out of stock from July to October. And then in December and January, based on demand, replenishment, and work orders, they're projected to be over the allowed stock level. You can select any point on the graph and see the related orders or shipments on the right side of the screen. So Control Tower can predict if a particular product will be out of stock alert appropriate users and provide a list of impacted orders that will be affected by this out-of-stock projection. Finally, Control Tower's performance management provides you with an ability to monitor your supply chain performance. It's hard to achieve meaningful metrics when the information is in multiple systems. With Control Tower, you have the information in one system, and you also have the historical reference information of your supply chain performance within, with your supply chain partners. This is an example of a supply, supplier performance scorecard that allows you to reward good suppliers and hold accountable suppliers that need improvement. By providing analytics that are tailored to various stakeholders and organizations, Control Tower helps you continuously improve your processes to achieve strategic and tactical supply chain goals. So in summary, a supply chain control tower helps you break down the information silos. It helps you elevate your data integration and create a transparent and flexible supply chain with end-to-end -end visibility with automating and controlling complex supply chain processes, supply chain partner collaborations, 
and, as well as exception and performance management. By employing a control tower solution, you can realize benefits such as minimized lead times, reducing inventory levels, reducing transportation and labor costs, as well as minimizing supply chain risk. Achieve a synchronized supply chain through data integration, through control tower single version of truth, single version of process across harmonized data. And now we'll turn it back to Mark, and uh, we're ready to answer your question. Okay, Julia, thank you so much. And the first question, I received a few. The first question I have is, does your product support a particular type of industry, or can it support any industry? Hi, this is Alex. Um, our product can support any type of industry. We're, we're very uh, uh, flexible, and we can pretty much model any kind of process uh, in any kind of industry. So uh, there's no there's no limitation. We have, uh, as you can see from our customers, you know, we have customers in automotive, in defense, uh, manufacturing, third-party logistics, all types. Okay, thanks, Alex. Uh, the next question. And this is, this is actually interesting. The question is centered around, does your product replace an ERP or a WMS system? But I think it might be more useful to rephrase it as, how does your product interact with existing ERPs or WMS systems? Right. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. It, it definitely is a product, a product that elevates the data that you have in your ERP, WMS, CMS, and other systems. So a lot of those systems are um, internally within the enterprise, and um, you need to provide a lot of this information to your supply chain partners. So a control tower is like an umbrella, again, like an airport control tower that sits on top, and uh, using a tool like Xtol, where you can integrate the data from different systems, and even maybe potentially from your supply chain partner system, you, can, you have this one single system where you see the data, and then if there are changes that are made to the orders or to, you know, to the shipments or the supplier is using control towers to issue an ASN, uh, those updates can be uh, synced back to the system of records so that everything is in sync as well. So really we are on top of, of your other system of records. Okay. Now, Yulia, is the uh, solution typically deployed on-premise or in the cloud? Um, we support both models, so it depends on um, the company's requirement, really. And uh, so, for example, you know, uh, with the Ministry of Defense, because it's a uh, different environment, they would have, uh, for sure, you know, the, the on-site premise um, installation. But we also provide um, a SaaS, mo SaaS model as well. Yeah. For, for us, it doesn't matter because the, the control tower platform in itself is, is a full, fully web-based platform. So whether you want to uh, put it inside your four walls or outside your four walls, it, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Now, if it's in the cloud, how do you prevent different businesses from seeing each other's data? This is all done uh, through our security model. The Elosti has a, a very tight uh, security model that basically allows uh, the business to basically segregate the data on multiple levels. So you can, you know, you can segregate by organization so that two different businesses may share an order, but they'll only see the information that's relevant to, to their business. Uh, you can uh, segregate the data on a user level, so different users have different access to the information. You can even do that right down to the field level. Um, so that you, you know, different users have access to different parts of the screen. So we, we have a very tight, very robust security model that basically allows you to to, to uh, uh, control the data. That's particularly important in a third-party logistics environment where uh, they use Velocity as a as a as a value add for their uh, for their uh, uh, customers. You know, they can have a warehouse that has you know that's holding inventory from many different customers, but they want to make sure that. You know, one customer doesn't see the other customer's data. That's uh, that's really something that we've been able to uh, be very successful in, 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 uh, in working with third-party business projects and managing that process. Okay. Now, are there any specific uh, database types that are required on the back end for that Velocity works with, or is it fairly wide open and agnostic to databases? 
it, typically what we do is, is we store the data through a, on our Oracle database and we receive data in XML format. Uh, we would basically use the product, you know, we would use Excel in order to get that data uh, into our system and, uh, and out of our system. So typically what we find is that if there's multiple different environments that we're, we're trying to connect to, the best way to do it is by using uh, a, a, an integration process that will connect those systems and then feed that data back into us. This is why why we feel that you know CDP is a very complementary product to, to Excel. Okay, it looks like that is all of the questions. So I'd like to thank both Yulia and Ali for taking the time today, and thank everyone for attending this Educast. And watch for the next Excel Educast coming soon.